It's been a while. It has been quite some time since we've done a deck deck tutorial. And today I've got a popper deck deck tutorial and that is a mill deck, a mono blue deck. So let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel. I am Matt Caster Mage and I do make Magic the Gathering content on YouTube every single day. So if you do enjoy my videos or if you enjoy Magic the Gathering, please consider subscribing and joining in on the fun. Yes, Mono Blue Mill. Now I have to say, if you're looking for like a turn one popper win deck, something really janky like that, well, I mean, it, it's kind of a janky deck, but it's not like a turn one win mill out your opponent, opponent deck. So uh, if you're looking for something crazy like that, this is probably not the right place for you. But if you're looking to have some fun and maybe annoy your opponents with Mill, then you're in the right spot for that. Now, this card has a lot of enchantments, a lot of sorceries, instants, not too many creatures. Um, but uh, you don't really need a lot of creatures for a Mill deck. Uh, some of these creatures that are in here, they're mostly as like a plan. They're mostly a Plan B um, or a blocker, a chump blocker. But uh, nonetheless. You'll see it when I show you them. So why don't we start the list off here? Let me get the focus a little better for you guys. Okay. So we've got two Curse of the Bloody Tomes. Now this enchants player, and at the beginning of the enchanted player's upkeep, that player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So not too bad, and this can obviously stack. Really, really decent uh, enchantment here. we got another enchantment. We've got Jace's Erasure, and whenever you draw a card, you may have target player put the top card of his or her library into her graveyard. So if we draw cards, we're essentially milling our opponent as well at the same time. So we have four of them. We got a cycling land because, you know, just in case uh, we need to like go through our deck and find the tools that we need. It also cycles, which is drawing cards. So if you have Jace's Eraser, then you're milling your opponent as well. And we have four lonely sandbars from the original Onslaught. Now we have a bunch of basic islands as well because it is a mono blue deck. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 basics because we only need 19 lands for this because it is only a mono color deck after all, a mono blue deck. So we have the lands right there and we have uh, our creature, Jace's Phantasm. Now it's an illusion. It's a one mana illusion for 1-1 one, one, but it can be a 5-5 five, five flyer if you have 10 or more cards. If your opponent has 10 or more cards in your graveyard, and obviously that is possible if you're playing a mill deck, but this is like, just in case you have a plan B, you know, it's a 5-5 five, five flyer for one mana. I used to love this card back in the day. Uh, first, I ended up hating it because my friend would always play it in, in like a really casual mono blue deck, and I couldn't stand it. But now, I actually have uh, grown very fond of it, and we do have four copies of this. So a play set of Jace's Phantasm. Okay, and uh, our next card here is Merfolk Secret Keeper. So it's a 0-4 creature, so it's a good blocker. It's one mana, and you can play its Venture Deeper for one mana, and target player puts the top four cards of, his, of uh, their library into their graveyard. So you can mill your opponent out for four cards and then bring this card back for one mana as a chump blocker, 0-4 chump blocker. So really cool. It acts as a, a uh, mill card and a creature at the same time. Really cool. Adventure was a, just a broken mechanic. Overall, I think we can all agree Throne of Eldraine was a pretty broken set. So we do have a playset of Merfolk Secret Keeper, so we got four of them. Then we got Thought Scour, which is an instant that uh, draws us a card and target opponent, or target player, puts the top two cards of his or library into her graveyard, so you can mill yourself or mill your opponent and draw a card. So drawing cards obviously really good with Jace's Erasure, and also this is another mill card and a draw outlet. We have a playset of Thought Scours. Now we have Brainstorm, a perfect uh, outlet for drawing cards works perfectly with Jason's Erasure. Now you draw three cards and then put two cards in your hand on top of your library in any order. Obviously, this is great for filtering out your deck, trying to find the pieces that you need to succeed in the game. And uh, obviously a perfect card in Popper. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very broken card. <laughs> Originally it came out in Ice Age. That's why uh, it's got that symbol there. This is the Masters 25 copy. So we do have a playset of Brainstorm as well. Now our next card here is similar to Brainstorm. It, it is Ponder. Now it is a sorcery from M12. This is well, this is the M12 version. I think the first Ponder came out in Lorwyn. Uh, this is a, a card that lets you look at the top three cards of your library, then put them back in any order. Then you may shuffle your library, draw a card. So 
So you're looking at the top three cards, you're not drawing the three cards. So it doesn't work as well with Jace's Erasure, but essentially it's still doing something similar to Brainstorm where you are you know, filtering through your deck, trying to find the pieces that you need to win the game. Uh, and then you can also draw a card on top of that. So we do have a place of Ponder as well, four cards there. Now the next one is just a straight up mill card. Love it. Mind Skull for two mana. It's a sorcery, and target opponent puts the top seven cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Very, very cool. Uh, it's a sorcery, so it's a little slower than instant, obviously, but you play it on your turn. Not too bad. You know, two mana, seven cards. I think it definitely works in this deck, and we have a playset of them, that's why. Okay, we got another mill card. It is Tome Scour for one mana. It's a sorcery, and it lets you give your target player, sorry, target player gets, uh, puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard as well. So really, really cool card. Like this card, five cards in your opponent's graveyard for one mana. That is very broken and popper. Now, Mind Sculpt, obviously a little less powerful for two mana. You know, you're putting seven cards in your opponent's graveyard, but Tome's uh, Scour is uh, definitely one of the most important cards in this deck. And we have two of them there. Now we get Memory Sluice, uh, which is a sorcery. Target player puts the top four cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and then you can conspire as well. Now we have three of these. Now Dream Twist is another middle card that actually has flashback as well, so you can bring it back again to do more damage to your opponent. Now target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and it's got the flashback for two, so you can play it again. Very, very cool. And we have two of these. Oh, sorry. We have four <laughs> of the Memory Sluice. Um, and uh, the Dream Twist, we do have three of them. And there's the last, I was wondering, I was like, wait a minute, didn't I have a play set of Tome Scour? Yes, there is four. So we have four Tome Scour as well. Very, very important card. It's a crucial card in this uh, deck. So you definitely need a play set for that. Um, really, really cool. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this mill deck down in the comment section. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these deck deck tutorials, but I hope you guys enjoy them. And let me know, what's your favorite format to play? For me, Modern, Popper, and Commander are my top three. Let me know what yours are down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund, because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.